You cannot change what you constantly tolerate. And that's more than a cute saying. People say, Pat, I don't like the way they talk to me. I don't like where I'm at financially. I don't like the way my relationships are. I don't like the level of my health. I don't like the level of my finances. I don't like being stuck in a rut. But you know what's interesting is we human beings tolerate things. And then what we do is we build support systems to tolerate our lack of abundance in our lives. Now by abundance, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking an abundance of joy, an abundance of freedom. What is it in your life that is causing you trauma, pain, discomfort? What is it that is aggravating you? Is it a toxic person in your life? Let me ask you, why do you tolerate it? Is it you hate your job? Why do you tolerate it? Sometimes in our life, we get our feel good from something that makes us feel bad. And that is toxic to the soul. So let me encourage you today to change things that you find now no longer intolerable. How much pain do you need to feel to make change in your life? How much pain do you need to feel to get out of stuck? So let me give you some helpful hints on how you can change rather than tolerate. Number one, get a clear image in your mind of what you want. Two, if it's an area of people in your life that are toxic, decide right now to spring clean some of your friends. It could be on social media. It could actually be in your life. Here's a third key. Set yourself a daily routine on how you're going to grow, on how you're going to increase your life, fulfill greater emotions, and live a more positive life. For example, you may want to get up 30 minutes earlier and go for a run. For example, you may want to eliminate certain foods in your life that you know are not helpful to you. So here's my advice to change what you've been tolerating. Make an inventory of what you have tolerated up till now and what you will not tolerate in your future. By doing that, you're creating momentum in your soul. And remember, momentum is an inside job. Decide now what you will allow and what you won't allow in your life. These are not boundaries that restrict. These are parameters by which we can live and frame our life. And that's how we can change what we've been tolerating, which has become toxic inside of us. I want to encourage you, make that fearless inventory. On one side, this is what I won't have. On this side, this is what I will have. And you watch how that will come towards you. Remember, you cannot change what you constantly tolerate and it's creating new beliefs around you that will propel you forward.